any color. Wow. Kitchens, DIY kit itchens. For this. This is worth the five hour jump. Six hours. This is worth the drive. This is mad. They've got this unit here, that unit there, another, there's about four or five different units here where they move stuff over from part production to there. I can't wait, mate. I'm like a kid in a sweet shop. Hey, I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. I can't wait. I can hear the machines going on there at the moment, cutting yeah. all the gear down. This is the showroom. This is levels. This is levels, right? I got in touch with these guys and I said, look, I'm doing a project out, I'm doing my house up. We can buy the kitchen anywhere. You can go and buy a kitchen anywhere, yeah? So then I started doing it and he said, no problem. He said, do yourself over there. Get a plan, compare the prices. So I did that and these just hands down, mate. I reckon, we'll find out, I reckon, Number wise, 30, 40, 50 even cent off cheaper. Mad, crazy, crazy money. So I priced the kitchen was up there and then I priced it up with these lot and it was about that sort of difference anyway. Straight away they won me over on price. But then when I said to him, look, I would love to be able to come and see my kitchen being made or see the process of kitchens being made if you can't fit mine in in the schedule and whatever else, he went, no problem. Look up, let's organize this. So we're going back and forth and we're here today to watch, hopefully, my kitchen being made in the factory. That's letting people know that the man's coming through because he's got kitchens to make. This is impressive. Cool. So this is where you bring all your customers? It is, yeah, yeah. yeah. Show everyone what you've got. Okay. Every range on showing there? Pretty much, yeah, 27 yeah. displays. Is it 27? Well, 27, we, we, I said you're 20 on. We've technical display too. That's is it really? Yeah, yeah with the little extras. Yeah, because we've got some small displays. We can count all of the small sections as 32. That's a lot, isn't it? One thing I think I forgot, I was looking at the website this morning, is a bin. Main main unit. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Oh, I think sure. I forgot a bin unit in the island there. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. I'm going to put a bin in the kitchen. Well. Man, yeah. you forget things, don't you? Oh. What are you looking at, son? Work tops, look at that. That's lovely. Bit, good, I bit small though, innit? I couldn't really put a toaster on there or anything. This is all you've got to choose. Are these all your samples? So when you come and get your kitchen, you choose your kitchen. This is the great thing about this show, Ted. Basically, all their carcasses will fit all of these doors. Am I right to say, Chris, that all the carcasses will fit any of these doors? Or close to it? Some uh, units yeah, yeah, there not. might be some exceptions to you, but yeah, basically all the cabinets uh, yeah. uh, are available in most of the ranges, yeah. We're going for the in-frame range for the kitchen. So you see that where the door looks like it's, well, it's set inside a frame. Yeah. So we're going for there and then we've got a bespoke colour. Yeah. They wanted to change it up because we want each room to look different. So we've got that for the utility room. We've got the in-frame, which is the called the uh, hair? Yeah, hair wood, yeah. hair wood. Hair wood. That's a lovely colour as well, Sage. In-frame. And then in our bathroom, the seals do. Is that the right? We've got some bathroom cupboards yeah. in there. That's going to be wicked. I've got a green one going in there, like a nice deep green with a white marble top for the sink unit. That's going to look That's lovely. That's lovely, that door, isn't it? This is unreal. Sam, we've got a section for me. That's sick, isn't it? Huh? Do you know what? Why? Why? That's the least, last thing I expected to see. Just like a nice cabinet, though. Show you put trophies in there. That's nice, isn't it? That's sick. A little trophy cabinet. Once upon a time, I went to the Awa kitchens. And I looked in the showroom. It was really nice. It's so nice. There's so many kitchens. If you want a kitchen, come to DIY. DIYKitchens.com. What was, what's your favourite item of cutlery? Spoon. Yeah, I was going to say spoon. I found Ted's kitchen. Okay. Well, thanks. Is that it? Well, you stay there, please. Yeah. They've got their own cushions. Yeah, I like that. Why am I? Look at that. We're actually going to see that. Yeah, we're we're going to go and see all this today. Keep changing my mind. That's nice. That's really nice. Underlit. Sick, isn't it? I'm not sure on the white, though. We're going to go and see in a minute. Oi, that's sick. How mad is that? 
Oh, that's me. How do I not see that? I oh, know. That's a bit of me. I think I, I might like just that. change my mind again. You know, if I think it's too dark for my little kitchen. Life. Not Sam. I got excited when you said that. That door's squeaky, bro. <laughs> they must have quite a I really electric, fancy your water. electricity bill, aren't they? Water. This is lovely. I like this. That green is lovely. Morning, mate. Turn off. Yeah, you're right, mate. Morning, mate. You got the old breakfast. Yeah, I'll have half. Kit Kat Kat for breakfast. Okay. Cheers, bro. <coughs> Having a break. While me and Teddy enjoy looking at different kitchens, Ethan finds the treasure. Oh, look. What the van? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there oh, so many. Doctor. <laughs> there is stuck in that. I'm the extra. <laughs> blown away. We are blown away, Sam, aren't we? I highly, highly recommend coming down here as well. And the quality of these kitchens are second to none. Delicious. Oh, that's mm. What is that for? Drying. Drain it. Drain them. So it'll be slightly, look, slightly downhill so the water will run back into the sink. Mm. Whoosh. Did you bring yeah. up the drawer up? We found the fridge. <laughs> 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 it's unreal, isn't it? <laughs> I've changed my mind about hey, 25 phase, times. If you want to look at all pull outs and stuff like that. Yes. Yeah. So all blank doors just with the insides. Yeah. Where's the bin unit? There. One in somewhere. Bins. I bet you've got uh, a bin yeah. somewhere, haven't you? I left that off. Yeah. But this is the idea, this is the great thing about it. You can when you're online and doing your online, you're designing your kitchens, you're not in a rush. You're not in a rush. Take your time, get it right, sit on it before you place the order. So once you place the order, then obviously it's ordered. I forgot about a bin. So did I. I forgot about a bin. So then I was driving up and thinking, I need a bin, I need a bin. So I better mention it. So luckily enough, my, my kitchen ain't in production at the moment. So we need a bin, yeah. And then, that's, that's lovely. Need that in your thing. But you've got a nice kitchen, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Is that what your sister's got? That's beautiful. Isn't it? When you're looking at your 70, 80 plus grand kitchens from Tom Howley, this is basically what you get. But you get it from a, from fraction. a fraction of the price. As I look and I see yeah. that on, on Instagram, I see that. Yeah. This got that feel, isn't it? 100%. Price, yeah. This it's is not. this is as bespoke you're going to get coming out of a factory, isn't it? The whole thing, not including range cooking with the worktops, you know, about 35. And if you went yes. to somewhere like Tom Alley, it'd be about 80, 90 yeah. grams. Underground like kitchen. That, easy, yeah. that is underground kitchen, it yeah. is. And mate, that's what that is. That's Love that. Nice. What's that? What size is that? 150? That's what's well, nice, isn't it? That's about 150, isn't it? They do 100 mil. Yeah, 150 yeah. is nice. I like that extra beat, that extra bit there. Normally it's 100 mil, isn't it? What's that called again, sorry? Centura's grey. Centura. Put that down for me. That's lovely. Remind me, please. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Do you know the cup handles? Do you do the cup handles without that? Without the big... Is there a cup handle? I'm sure I've seen it on your website. Yeah, yeah we've got a... Um, more of a lesser, not so you can yeah. see them. Yeah. This one. That's it. That's it. That's the handle, yeah. Lovely. That's the cup handle. A bit more subtle. Yeah. Nice. That's the bit what impressed me. He said, Chris said, any colour. Any colour. I said, send me the book. He said, no, no, no. Any colour. It's Come not on. So impressive. This is the best ever kitchen showroom I've ever been to, and I've been in the drum man and boy, my dad, my uncle, my granddad, all builders. I've never been to a showroom as good as this. No. It took me five hours to get here. We started over last night, 100% worth the trip. I'm actually thinking of bringing the wife back up here because she missed out today. Just to show her it, just to have a little trip out. One thing I was thinking about, you know, underneath. In... Well, I've got the high-level washing machine. Does it sit on? It sits on one of these units, right? I'm taking it. Yeah. Yeah, you can do. You could do that with two tile end panels and then a wall unit in between. How could we make it or the fitter on site a judge or whatever <laughs> so that there's a pull-out drawer where you put your washing basket? That's why we scramble all those working. Yeah. So you've got the washing machine yeah, yeah. here. <laughs> pulls out the washing basket. Yeah. Pulls out the drawer. <laughs> unloads it. Yeah. I know that's very bespoke. Mm -hmm. I know. Uh, I understand that's a very bespoke thing. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, do it. Yeah. Yeah. we'll work, we'll wear that out, we'll wear that out. Yeah. Is there a way to do that, do you reckon? Yeah. 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 That's, I know I'm, I'm judging you, I'm helping my wife have five children, bro. Four children, one on the way, that's her back. Poor lady. She's my woman as well, I've got to look after her. I still met one of the three.
That thing smells really nice as well. Awesome. Big compliments. <laughs> You best yeah. zoom in on it so you can get it for it. <laughs> What's that, then? <laughs> so he remembers. On our, we've got our desks made out of it. Uh, it's like slate. It looks like, is that an imitated it, slate like or something? Yeah, so it's, uh, it's like a ceramic worktop, so okay. it's heat proof and it's stain proof, so you can put a hat pan straight on that and you don't stain it, yeah. It's the only material really on the market that you can do that to. De so there was? Decton. De and that's in there, framed in there as well? Yeah, so that's what you call an axis sink. So it's got a little lip around it and then you just clad it with your worktop material. You can do the same oh, wow. part yeah. with granite. It's just cladded. Yeah. I've never seen that. I've never seen that. I've ever seen stainless steel ones or the butter style stuck so up. It's stand back. It's all it's seamless. So you clad it. Lovely enough. That's good. Can you groove that as well if you wanted to? Yeah, you can do. With some Decton, what happens though is because it's a printed, if you look, it's not a full body product, so yeah. the pattern's up inside. Yeah. So when you put your grooves in, you do lose the pattern, which some it. people don't mind. Some people what was that? Putting stuff straight on? Anything you like, hot, anything you like, straight oh, on there. Yeah. It won't burn it, won't pop it, won't lift but it. But there's no, there's sometimes they have like, and they seem It's made by a Spanish company. They buildings in Spain in it. All oh, right. And if you get graffiti on it, you can just take sulfuric acid to it and take graffiti straight off. So it's ultra durable. Put acetone, you can put nail polish and mark pens on that and get it straight off. I've also seen the fridges that the boys have found. How it's made. QR code. I'm intrigued. Oh. Does it take you to a YouTube video? Oh, yeah, it does. Oh. That's so cool. Interesting. But what I don't want to do is watch too much of it because we're going in the factory. Yeah, we are going in there. We're going in we? the factory. But yeah, the ladies were just saying the robots in there are unbelievable. Me and the boys are about to learn the northern slang from the team. What are you seeing, Calf, mate? Oh, okay. What do you want, mate? What game, what game are you up there, mate? Pop. What, what's what, a pop? So if somebody said to you, what kind of pop, would you then say the name? Well, yeah, I definitely wouldn't say pop. Do you not? You would say it's not. It must be a pop. A glass of what? Pop. Are <laughs> <laughs> you from another pop? country? <laughs> Pop. 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 The whole thing? No, that, that is a kind of pop. That is a kind of pop. That's, That's a kind of Dr. Pepper. No, we say the name, we say the full name though. We'd say like, can you give us a can of Can you give us a can of Coke? Can you give us a can of Tango? That's how it's Hold on, hold on. If you, if, you go, if you go into a fish and chip shop and you say, can I have a can of pop, they're like... They'll know what you mean up here. Yeah. How do they know which one? Well, yeah, you'd say, then you'd well, you'd say, oh, you'd say specifically, but well, like, we class it as pop. <laughs> can I have a can of pop? I've got a gentleman. Do you know? Can I just borrow you? Do you call it pop? Is it a can of pop? Yes, it is! It's a normal thing. You've learned something new from us today. Can of pop. So, it's a joke. Wait, if you go down south, you can't pop. Can I juice? Can I juice? Oh, no, no. Do you call a roll? A roll? Yeah. It's a bread cake. What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. That's new to me. A bacon roll. What do you call it? Bacon butter. Bacon roll. No, bacon butter. We class it as a few things. You're all right with butter, yeah. bread cake. but it's a bread cake. It's not a bread cake. Bread cake? Bread cake. Bread cake. Bread cake. Bread cake. Uh, what was that thing we learned the other day? Uh, it was like an upside down pie sandwich. Oh. It was like a pie in a roll. Yeah, Babajed. 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 And a... That's off the other side of Penang. Yeah, that's about that size. Ooh. Don't like them. White and red, white and red. Don't like them. Do you have your own language? Oh, yeah, yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> we, yeah, we do have a. Yeah, there is some. If you, yeah, if you spoke to some lads on shop floor and they're from Barnsley. Uh, yeah, yeah. Really, really thick accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you probably want to. So a lot of things we don't pronounce. Like, if you wanted to say, I'm I'm going to the shop, we'd say, I'm off to shop. I'm off to shop. I'm off to shop. I'm off to shop. <laughs> yeah, I'll get that. I'm, I'm off to the shop. I'm off to, I'm off to right, shop. Right, so every customer receives one of these in their fitting packs. 
Oh, very nice. So, in all your bits and bobs, I'll let you open it. Oh. This is a welcome pack because I just brought a kitchen. Nice. Are you ready? Look at the branding. Sorry. What am I doing? Is it open? Are you ready? I'm ready. You ready, Calvin? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Sure you're ready? Yes, I'm positive. Ooh. Ooh. Nice bit of wrapping paper. British made kitchen since 1980. Oh! <laughs> Booklets. <laughs> yeah, we don't. Look at this. I'm read them, yeah. Best tea bag. We best, need them. The best tea bags. Calvin, don't worry about that, mate. Look at the tea bags. Nice. Yorkshire tea bags. Yorkshire tea bag, yes. Do you know where that. they come from? Yorkshire. Good lad. Oh, you oh. love you love flapjack. Ooh. I do love a flapjack. Is it? Oh, let's let's crack it open. Let's have a go. Yorkshire flapjack. Where's that from, Calvin? Yorkshire. Good lad. Oh, it's buttery. Mm. Isn't it? You're the flapjack from the series, aren't you? Oh. And try some. They're, they're probably a close second, aren't they? For... Croissants. Mm -hmm. It's not as overpowering. That's home. Nice. That's homemade, isn't it? Can of pop. That'd be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> hey up. Hey up. What's that mean? Hey up. Hey Hello. Hello. Hey <laughs> it's like we're doing translate. Means hello. Google Translate to Yorkshire. Hey up means hello. It's got its own language. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Which would probably offend you. Your eight cup. Almost half a century. <laughs> what was that one? <laughs> You're right, cock. <laughs> You're right, what? Cock. Oh. As a doing cock. Yeah, and it's, it's, oh, it's, it's not offensive up here. It's not offensive up here. I would get punched in the mouth. <laughs> now, Zalvo, it's cock of spade. You guys should do my team. Everybody gets spudge at the end. Yeah, spadge. Cock of spadge? Yeah, spadge. What is that? Just an idea, just say, yeah, just cock a spudge. It's like cock a love. You're all right, love. All right, love. But how, where's cock a spudge come from? What's the spudge bit We've got a lady, right, which is from Yorkshire. Would you be offended if I said to you, all right, cock? No. There we go. If you went to call for your friends and you knocked on the door, what would you say to the parents? He's John Boy. And is he? Coming out to... <laughs> would he be coming out to oh, play? coming out, yeah. Is John there? Up here? Yeah. What would you say? Like hey, oh, is so and so in? Is it laking out? You're laking out? Laking out. Laking out. Laking out. Laking out. Laking out. And then from the town where I'm from, if somebody's a little bit crazy or a bit mad, I'd say you're late. You're what? Lit. L-E-E-T. Lit. 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 Yeah. L-W-T. You lit you. Look how amazing these kitchens are. We're off now to the first factory to see how these are made. Yes. Plenty of colour options. Board comes in from supplier. You can choose which darkest colour, you know, interior colour you want. Yeah. We do more options than most kitchen companies, to be fair. We've got eight options at the minute here in interiors. Wow. I think we yours, we yours probably be like uh, oak. Oak. Yeah, oak interiors. Oak. Yeah. Nice contrast on a painted, you know, yeah. before painted. They've so done from that sheet into a whole thing made in here, in frame yeah. kitchen. So yeah. my kitchen gets made in this factory. That's so sick to see, man. <laughs> Cut to your gotcha. your kitchen. You know we're not we're not making cabs for stock. We're no. making a cabinet for Make your order. order. Yeah. Make Make order. order. Yeah, everything's made And we'll get like order. a two two week turnaround from order. Yeah. Two or three weeks for delivery. Yeah, yeah. Two three weeks of delivery. So all the the, the boards optimised, cut to your order. It's cut 18 mil MFC Egger board, and then it's two millimeter ABS edging. Big chunky edging, you know, hard wearing edging tape. That's very little waste because we optimise all the orders for a week together and make sure we have very little waste, yeah? It allows you to keep your cost down. So now obviously when you once your board's cut, you want it to be edged, you want it to be edged with a thick two millimeter ABS edge. So it's resistant, you're not gonna have tape coming off your cabinets like some of the old cabinets. Very good clues, adhesives used, machine, machine applied. It's a double sided, so it's doing 
both both edges at once. Yeah, all your tapes are put in the reels, and then as it's going through down this machine, the tapes been applied. So then to get a nice sort of up. edge finish, two mil edge finish. And what's that glued on? How's that yeah, work? Yeah, glued on. Glued on. Yeah. Glued on edges. Down the uh, the lights, the edges. Edge that's all machine done. All yeah, machine yeah. done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's wall cut there, open each, then it comes to here to be closed in. So the CNC machine. The panels are put. The square panels are put on the machine, and then the shaped and edged, so you can have curves and angles and L corners and loads of different special special unit options. So that machine takes a square part, turns it into an L shaped part for a corner. Shape corner unit. Corners as well. Yeah, yeah, we'll do a, an, a, an angled corner, uh, an internal curved corner, straight out corner. Yeah. Is he hand finished them off? Oh, oh, he's doing there. He's just scribing any excess. You know, get make sure it's a good finish. So sometimes a little bit of excess glue just scribes it off, yeah. So, all in frame here. You know, um, that's well popular in frame now, yeah. Very in frames, yeah, one of the most popular at Elmsley. Elmsley especially with a cock bead frame. Yeah. See the cock bead yeah. frame. Is that one of your best sellers, you reckon? Yeah. yeah. That's the one that I fell in love when I, I come here. I was going to have a standard shaker for the utility room, and then I saw that door. Yeah. And I fell in love with that. Popular, isn't it? Got that bead there. What do you call that? A cock bead. Yeah. That. So, so proper in frame. Is where the frame is always fixed to the cabinet. Yes. Yeah. And the door opens from within. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And they call this a cock bead frame, cock bead detail. Yes. Yeah. That's lovely. And now we're watching it being assembled over there. And then it comes out. We've seen the end. So there's the start, and there's the end. We're going to go and watch the middle bit now of how it all gets made together. It's called a press, and it's quite manual. But the lads on here can do a lot of more bespoke bespoke units that a lot of companies can't offer. You know, so yeah, yeah. it's a more manual. We've got an automated line, but we always keep this line for uh, if you want a unit dry assembled or yeah. you know, like you want you want something a little bit different. He, he's yeah. having your tradesman, he's like having tradesmen on site for you. Bespoking it up. You'll see it up at Sherburn mainly. I'm wondering if that's for all of it now, for the utility and the kitchen. Have the same for the utility and the kitchen. Different yeah. colour, but the same door. Because I love that. That looks level. I think that looks better. That's like, the yeah. I like that where it's seamless. Yeah. I reckon maybe just utility room and kitchen uh, in that with the two different colours. Yeah. I know I changed again, but I love this detail here. I think that's really nice. So the back of the door. You buy somewhere else, you can have drill holes and yeah. holes that you've got to cover in that, not with us, you know what yeah. I mean? Because they're made to order, normally when you go to get, get in kitchens, they're just made any size fits all, and then you've got a load of holes you've got to fill later on. But because these are made to order, it's like bespoke, mate. It's like having it bespokely built. And I know back of your door, you don't see it, but no, I finish the back of the door. Nice. A lot of the others just leave it white. Or, or, or they finish it with one coat of paint, not two or three. So you don't get the real finish. They're very patient with me as well. And this is a bit, you know other places you get rushed when you're designing your kitchen? Custom service. Mate. Yeah, so, and then Martin feeds the machine and it drills and it stores the, stores the doors till the unit's ready. Then once the unit's ready, the, the door comes out and he's attached to the cabinet. This is the storage. Once it's drilled, it's stored, waiting for the unit to come through that that door's assigned to, then the door will come out and just be clipped on. Obviously the doors can be fitted on, but the frames, it's a, our in-frame factory, if you look at the frames there, they need to be manually fitted. So the, the guys at this station here are putting the clips on, for then them to be fitted at this next point, yeah? Automation where you need it, 
So he still needs a guy, yeah. skilled guy, you know, trained guy to in between. To fit it, yeah. That's the outfit for the dog. So only drilled for what you need. No drillings here, excess drillings, yeah? Getting drilled, no unnecessary drill holes. Yeah, the one drilled you need. for what you need. What you yeah. need for your unit. Yeah. And that's all done with a program. Yeah. Bang. So the machine, when when a unit goes in, you put what you know. It, obviously, from the order processing software, it knows your order, and it, it's coming through, drilling just what you need. If you have a bin. If you have a big unit, obviously this machine's doing it different. I'm with you. Or if you just have a shelf unit. Shelf unit, I'm with you. And if you've got a pan drawer, it's doing it pan drawer, etc. Yeah. I'll ask the question. You see that machinery, about three million quid that. And that's nothing compared to the one the other one, eight million quid. I'm asking the awkward questions. I always want to know how much these machines cost because they're unbelievable, mate. It's unbelievable how these machines, from a computer, a program, bang, the machine knows. You're worried for your job, ain't you? They'd be laying bricks and building houses, man, isn't it? You worry for your job, mate. And do you just manually load them back up then? Look, the geezer there just opened one of them drawers. So here, come along now, load that back up with more runners. Watch him, here, come round now. Put more runners in there so it auto feeds it. Yeah, look. So he's just laying the runners out correctly so that the machine can just pick them off the walls. You wouldn't want to put them in the wrong way around, would you? That'd jam a machine up. Record we had on this one, it's a bit of a slower line on the in frame, but 38. So 38 units an hour on this line with the record. An hour? Wow. And the one at Sherman, the record we had were 106. And how long is that running for a day? Uh, he is running eight hours a day. Yeah. Sherman running 16. 16 hours a day. You would be at 24 hours. 106 units an hour. That's a lot. It's a lovely little server now. Yeah, so then you do the same here. Yeah. I was just saying about having their facilities. They're doing about 500 kitchens a week at the moment. So you know natural progression. These lot are going to be doing a thousand kitchens in the next year or so before you know it. So I just asked the question about have they got the facilities to double their workload? And he said, yeah, in Sherburne, which is their other place, they doubled it during COVID and they doubled their shifts. They run two shifts. So this is obviously running one shift at the moment. This will run two shifts. They can run three shifts. Before you know it, the factories are running 24 hours a day. Just shift work. Teams coming in day and night. Let me know in the comments, do you own a DIY kitchen? From DIYKitchen.com. They're doing about 30,000 kitchens a year at the moment. The doors come out come out of the machine, clipped on the cabinet, everything. So if it's for a, if it's for a bin, your door's done for a bin. If it's for a hinge, your door's done for a hinge. I'm with you. Yeah. That's obviously a spot colour, that green, right? Yeah. So that's been sprayed in your other warehouse. Yeah. Set over there. Yeah. We're going there. Yeah. Good job. So this one is going to be a heritage green for a darker green oh, colour. Great. If you're into your quirky stuff, you like your vibrant stuff, look at that. Any colour you like. But that's the terminology. And that's an in-frame. Yeah. Do you know that? Do you understand that? When you open that, that won't open, the door will open. Need the frame there. That's, and then this one is the whole door open. Yeah, so if you can get it, obviously, once it's all QC checked and everything, well wrapped by these guys. Packaging's obviously important, make sure it gets there in one piece. <laughs> in here, goes through, goes into a drying oven, turns over on a turnover device. You have to clean them out, clean yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, you've got to like turn. Cleanse the machine, yeah. You know, and then you'll well. lose a lot of paint as well. Yeah, you 
waste a lot, I'm with you. So you're better off if it was all one colour and everyone would stick with the same colour. Yeah, well, what, what we do, we normally, when they pick the doors, they'll pick them in bulk. Yeah. Run all the same colour. With you. Do your next colour, do your next colour. We had one week where we did 180 colours. But we've got one machine that's quick that's designed for one off colours. But this is designed for. Yeah, you just grey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look at that though, look. So you win on some, lose on some. See where the frame is? You're wasting a lot of paint on that frame, isn't you? Yeah, look, yeah, exactly. Part of it, innit? But that's what it is. You gain it though by having it automated with a machine rather than by a human. This is an initial fast drying oven. Guess it dry enough to then go and be stacked in the big oven. Look. Where does it come from though? It's no different than making a cake, isn't it? So, spray, quick drying oven, gets it dry enough to then go into the main oven. Well, and then and in the main move. oven. And then it, well, we'll go around there, I'll show you where it comes out. Does someone move it into me? No, it's, it's on a conveyor. It's that, yeah, that, 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 that's oh, yeah, in that yeah. conveyor. That and this oven's cycling all the time. That's just constantly cycling up and down. Oh. Yeah. It's like an incubator. It's like an incubator because it always turns. It takes around about uh, six to eight hours and then they come out finished ready. So cycle would be pushing, eight hours turn, eight hours back round, 16 hours, you get all of this colour for the week sort of through. It's a colour called sage done for a week, you know what I mean? We'll do it in batch, obviously. We've got all the orders for next week in that colour. We'll spray them and then they're all ready now. This place is the nuts, mate. It's cool, isn't it? It's so cool. Look at all the different colours. Once it's all been painted, it then stands here and then it moves over and this is where they do all the quality control to make sure that it's perfect before it goes out. Mate. That's what I was just saying to Sam. It's so nice being it all automated and so it, you know it's done properly. It's properly, mate. But then it's checked. It's checked it's... by man as well, man and women. Just... Check everything, go through it. It's the nuts, mate. Still got a human element to it. What? And do you know what? I said it before, I'll say it again. It's a family business, bro. It's a family business of this size, run by a family at the top level, giving all these people jobs. 500 plus kitchens a week and growing at a fast rate and the quality wow this is what we want to get involved with man because you can push it with passion that mat i bet you now that man has done 24 hour days in here over the years grafting his bastard off to get it to this level with his family he loves it mate he's passionate about it he said that what are you not happy with with that there's a little bit yeah, of that's some bit pain yeah. what because of that there yeah, it's got to be perfect. Hold up a minute, look, I oh, know, look. What, that that's a reject yeah, because yeah. that's got a defect in the paint. I'm not happy with it. Good eyes, girl. Good <laughs> eyes. Rejected. Like, what's been rejected? So this is what's got to go back for a respray or a sort of... Or a re yeah, or a new one, etc. yeah. Just rejected that one again. Uh, reject. Other places are banging that out, no drama. I've, I've had kitchens, a bitty kitchen, with worse defects than that. Do you like that? I have, mate, and that's the truth. That's the truth, bigger defects than that one. You'll see probably a little bit of white there. And that one, you won't be happy with that? No. That's quality, mate. That's good to see that. What's wrong with this one? Probably just like that little bit of white there, and then just a little bit in. A real quick paint changes uh, and it's just job to job. Yeah, and it's always changing colour. Do you ever look at some of them and then put them into like your colour or not? Uh, if we see one that's really popular, there's one called Railing the Minute. What's the uh, really popular colour? I think that could be it actually. It's like a bluey carbon, bluey, bluey graphite colour. That, that, that could, could make it to be one of our standard colours, yeah. Obviously, if we see one that's massively selling, we'll put it in. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, machine sanding. The 
and sanded on the doors gets gets your best finish to be fair. A lot of manual work in that prep, isn't there? Yeah, a lot of manual work. Look, that hand prepping that with the sand. Hey, it's blown my mind. It's new though. Never been in a factory before. I've watched a lot of factory programs, but I've never been in a factory. How it's made. Yeah, I know, it's, it is interesting. There's so many different things along the production line, though, that could go wrong in there. Yeah, I know. It's got to be A1. But they're obviously oh. doing that down there, and then that has to get back up here somehow. So they was quality check it there. Well, I think I'm standing on the lift. Oh, OK. Prepping to get that finish. You prep it right, your top, your finish, your top finish. It's one of the key parts to getting a good finish. This sort of magnitude of product, you're going to get the odd bit of damage, right? And you've seen now how they check their stuff. Yeah. So, so the damage stuff's only really coming on the delivery. But even that, they're using their own delivery lot. They've got their own lorries, 20 or 30 or lorries, whatever they've got, their own van. But for the bit, what does happen, two to three days. If you get a damaged door and you, you ring up and say, listen, my door's damaged, two to three days, they're coming here, get hand painted, custom to the colour that you've chosen, if you've chosen a custom, custom colour, to your door. To get that done in two to three days, delivered anywhere in the UK, man. Mad. What a setup to be able to do that, man. That boy would just be in the middle of a waterfall, really. In an ideal paint shot, that's what he's saying, there's dust particles all in the air. So the water just brings the dust down, because it weighs, it's obviously more weight than dust. The dust then traps on the floor, so you get the perfect finish every time. That's why the water's running in the background. How many times a day do you need to go to the toilet, though? Yeah. <laughs> Depends. Yeah. <laughs> He's the geezer that sprays like Rolls Royce, we've been told. Trying to, yeah. <laughs> so when saying, really got one of them really naughty customers like my wife, that's the man what gets you right. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously on your spray lines, you're getting a great finish, yeah. but you're not as in control of the atmosphere, are you? In here, brilliant. That's Chrissy's son around there as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I told you, bro. He's like a family. That? That's Chrissy's son there. Oh, no, we just met. Yeah, oh. that's his son. When I was 16, I was 65 this year. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Right, when you're spraying dark colours, it's better if you put fine coats on, build it up, and then it holds the colour. If you put a lot of paint on it, it'll we'll split like that. The finishing technique is exactly that. Shit, man. That, they need video, need content, lots of social content to make it pop. Where are we off to now, brothers? We're going to Sherbum in Elmert. <laughs> Sherbum oh, in no, Elmert. I didn't know it was in, in Elmert. Yeah. Sherbum in Elmert, that's yeah, what it's called. Know. What? Because I know, because I listen, oh, bro, oh, in class. Oh, and we're going to their other factory, DIY Kitchen's other factory, brother. Even bigger, isn't it? 14 units, 440 staff members. They have a team of people which literally drop off around the country the odd bits and pieces that get damaged. Yeah, That's all they do. Yeah. So like when the delivery, you, one of the boys drops saying whatever, or, or he get, leans against saying and he gets a little nick in it. They used to be between uh, seven and 10 days for a replacement door. Yeah. He said, we do it in two to three days now. Mad. So, so now, like, you fit us on the job, they start on a Monday, and you find out you've got a damaged door, by the end of the week, you've got that replacement there. Yeah, kind of get. That's levels, man. We're going down in a minute. That is robot central in there, just picking and everything. Your whole line. Just look at that view from there. How many foot long is that? It's 151,000 square feet. The line, I don't know how long it is, but it's 151,000 square foot. It's factory. Manchester. That is customer service, isn't it? Oh, I'm dying to put that camera down. I'm just in. How many 
many sheets of that are you going for a week? No. I'd say we go through at least six to seven trailers a week. Primary. There's 14 packs on every trailer. And the supplies. Probably more than that, to be honest. How many bundles on the pack? 28, 24 on some and 28 on others. How many trailers? At least seven. Nearly 3,000 bulls a week. Nearly 3,000 bulls a week, bro. Because what we're doing, this batch is slightly different. We're cutting uh, more for stock panels. Mm -hmm. But then we still offer some units that we might only sell one a week on. You know, you, 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 you know a lot of the kitchen companies will strike units off based on that they only sell one a week. Yeah. But we keep it in. Yeah. These two saws, that's what they've got to be honest. Selco, uh, the SE the saws, Italian uh, saws, and then over to Egg Banders as well. It's all just a lot bigger than you know, Unit 26. Just getting a more, more product through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I leave that about three, two or three mil over size when it comes off that saw, then it moves on to the next saw, to trim it up, bang on size, and then finish it with the edge. Because that's a finer saw, I'm guessing, you don't get the chips on it and stuff. So you go a rough cut and then a final cut and then trim it. Look at that edge there, see like that there, look. See that, that'd be a chippy edge, so that'd be a rough cut. And then they'll come in two or three mil with a fine blade, precision cut, ready for a trim. Robotic line, each colour has its own cell. So you see oak, white, graphite. Alabaster, yeah. So this is the line that goes basically the full length of the factory. And this is the line that can do 106 cabs an hour, yeah. So what it does is we put the panels in the cells. Each of these, obviously these cells are panels that make unit. The robot will pick the panels with the suction pads, put it on the line, goes down the line, drilled for hinges, drilled for dowels, everything, and then automatically assembled further down there. That's the other thing, isn't it? You know, like, you get all these panels from all the other places. Yeah, loads of holes. You have holes everywhere, Rick. Because it's one, one panel fits all. So wherever you want to fit the unit or the shell, you have 30 holes, and you can fit it wherever you like. DIY kitchens, they're going to they make the holes to the unit that they're making. So there'd be two holes there, and they use the two holes. So then that stays clean, which makes it feel bespoke. It's no different to have a chimney come out on your job with a sheet of material and cut it the size on the job. Isn't it? But a fraction of the cost. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot to, it's, it's quite overwhelming. Yeah. I don't understand what that is. If everyone here, they know exactly what's going on. Yeah. But I'm really so confused. There's loads of machines. So what's happening here is, these machines are linked up to build and fit the cabinets together in one hit. Look at that. 
Now time for the draws. This is a sick area, yeah? So that unit have come along there and it's got a barcode on the back of that unit. So as it comes through, the machine scans the barcode. It tells that computer what items it wants, i.e. a drawer unit or a carousel unit or whatever. It then runs off on itself in there, a robot. It picks it off the shelf, drops that shelf down. They take out what they want and then sends it back. All from a machine there, what zaps a barcode and tells it what it needs. All pre-drilled, pre so you grab it, it's all pre-drilled, fish bosh bash, happy days. Because it's obviously bespokely built, isn't it? Like we said umpteen, umpteen times, there ain't none of these units which are stacked everywhere, you just pick from, they make them as we go. They're just, the guy just constantly making draws. So he puts them in the clamp there, we've always got a load of stuff in there. Yeah. It's like a vending machine. Yeah. Can he get me a Dr. Pepper? <laughs> That's a giant vending machine! Yeah, right. Always wondered how all these things work. And it all, all this is, is rule driven. Yeah. All you've got to do is tell the machine what you want it to do, and it's that intelligent, it then tells the next machine, all of a sudden the machines are talking. They're like humans, but not. What are we looking at here? <laughs> this is the door vending machine. Oh. So then, <laughs> this, tells, this tells you what this um, door is. Then you took the door off. Yep, that's what it comes out. Yeah, no, no. I knew it. How much time have you got? Got something in there. So basically, you pull the door out, and then the um, hinges are already on the cabinet. Yeah. So all you've got to do is put the door on. You ain't right. got to drill them in, nothing like that. That's crazy. Put it in. So what, they, what, what we're producing now on the lines, the doors need to be fed if four hours ago needs to be put in here. So we've put the doors through uh, here. See the doors going in now on the feet. And then they're stored in here until the unit comes down the line. Oh. Yeah. If you look in here. So they've got to go in this machine four hours before it gets there. Yeah. And this robot just goes up and down. It, it won't because we're in here now. Yeah. It just goes up and down, picks the door that we need. And feeds it out for the units that's coming through the line now. When it comes around here for packing, if it's got a painted door, it gets a wrap of foam and then a wrap of cardboard. But if it's a shiny door, plastic door, then it's get a cardboard. Because obviously, the, 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 even though it's dry, when it's in transit, it's just in case. And is this the end of the line where you see it going out to a lorry then, getting loaded in now? Yeah, we're going to watch it being loaded into a lorry here. So these are all the sides that go on to protect it for transit. Wow. 13 million quid worth of machinery in it. Kitchen one, kitchen two, kitchen three, kitchen four, kitchen five. And they'll load it in like that. Yeah. And then it comes out like that. So then we'll go to the back to get the first kitchen. Exactly, yeah. Mate, that's mad, isn't it? They got to stack that in that lorry perfectly. So then they... Oh, so they unload it. So then they unload yeah, yeah. the first drop, and they ain't got to go right to the back of the lorry to get one thing. Makes that, sense. Yeah, that, that's, that'd that's be like... Art, yeah, that's good. That's the art, isn't it? A bit like yeah. a game of Tetris loading it. All our own guys loading, offloading at the other end. The way we put it, we put like 95 units on a truck. And if you think about it, you're running up and down country. We're coming down to, to you, to Brighton or whatever, or Porsche, whatever. You don't want to be just going down with one kitchen. You you. I've seen some of them, I've seen some kitchen companies, and they're basically, they're, they're sending nothing on drunk, you know what I mean? It's a load of empty space. We're sending it down from Leeds to South Cove. We're going to be full of kitchens. It's all getting delivered. So I like, it's basically two of them. Together. Yeah. Oh. What a time we had at DIY Kitchens. We gotta say a massive thank you for them letting us come behind the scenes and inside their factory. It was a great honor to see how these kitchens are actually made. Check them out at diy-kitchens.com and make sure you follow them on all their socials. Home, thank appreciate you. Appreciate it, mate. Yeah. It's been brilliant. Yeah, man, you had a good trip off. Actually, bye. Who? Sidney. 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 S